and I'm five years old. And we're here today in my studio in Rydalmere in Western Sydney. And we're going to show you how to make a human animal form. So we're going to make figures and sculptures that mix human and animal features together. So Santi, what are some examples of some characters where human and animals are merged? Ponyo, Bluey and Pepper. Wow, there's heaps, hey, on TV? Yeah. Well, what's interesting is that across history and across different cultures, human and animal forms have featured prominently. So, we're going to show you how to make a sculpture out of air drying, clay, play-doh, anything you can have around your house. Are you ready? So for this activity, you're going to need some materials. The most important thing you need is some clay. Sticky tape. Some scissors. A chopstick. Some foam. Paint and brushes. The first step you're going to have to do is pick an animal and maybe do some drawings or do some sketches to inspire what you create. So Santi, what animal have you chosen? Orangutan. And where do orangutans live? In Indonesia. In Indonesia. I've chosen a pig. And I've done some drawings of pigs too, and some little paintings of pigs. So you can use anything really. You can use a box, a shoe box, a bit of foam. So I've chosen a bit of foam that came in an appliance that I bought. And I'm going to keep it nice and stable. We're going to create a stick figure to then wrap the clay around. So Santi, what we're going to do, you want to put this right in the middle. You can use sticks from the garden, you can use chopsticks, you can use old paint brushes, you can use plastic spoons, you can use anything really. But the point of this is to keep this thing nice and stable. We want to basically take two legs, two arms and a head made of chopsticks, paint brushes and sticks. Is that nice and stable? Yep. So we've got clay here and we've broken it up into small pieces. What we're going to do, we're going to get the clay, Santi, and we're going to wrap it around our figure until we've got a body. So we can be quite rough at this stage because we can add the detail later. If you've got little hands, maybe you want to get help of someone. So nice and just press it into that. And once the clay dries, it's going to dry nice and hard around this wooden structure. So what we're going to do to make a head is, we're going to basically make a ball. Can you make a ball, Santi? There's a head. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, we've got some of this stick sticking up, and really, we're just going to drive the head through. And then once it's in there, we're going to move it to the shape that we want. Now that we've got a basic figure, we can use smaller bits of clay, and we can start making the features. So eyes, nose, mouth, hair. Because I like to do my imagination, so I don't really need to copy it. So what you're telling me is that you started with the idea of an orangutan, but now you're using your imagination. And we can see you've used your imagination as it's got three eyes. So I've got a pig snout, two eyes, and a big mouth. And basically all we've done is we've gotten little bits of clay, we've rolled them, and when we're putting them in, we want to press them nice and hard inside so everything's joined together and things don't fall off. Yeah. So now it's the fun part. We're going to start adding some colour to our creations. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some paint on some plates. And remember, we're going to paint everything. We're even going to paint our base. So what colour do you think you're going to paint your base? I think I'll, I'll colour it all frankly. You can use anything that you have to decorate these figures. It doesn't have to be expensive. It could be things you even find in the garden. You think some hair maybe? Do you have any advice for people at home? Yes, 